The decision to close a critical pediatric unit in one of Baltimore's low-income neighborhoods was met with controversy on Tuesday. MedStar Hospitals decided to shutter its pediatric department and emergency pediatric department in Franklin Square outside of Baltimore and lay off dozens of staff, which prompted outrage at a rally on the afternoon of May 8th. The company did not respond to multiple requests for an interview or comment for this story. Doctors and community members say the closest hospital with pediatric departments is almost a dozen miles away, which could endanger children's health, says Dr. Max Romano. I take care of patients across the street from the hospital, kids and adults, and I used to take care of kids in that hospital. And I'm terrified the next week there's a six-week-old that's going to walk into my office with a fever and having trouble breathing, and I'm going to have to put them in an ambulance, and they're going to have to travel 20 or 30 minutes across town to see a pediatrician to take care of them. I'm terrified, and it's, it's either going to happen next week or the week after that, uh, or the week after that. It's going to happen. Um, and I'm terrified somebody's going to come in with a seizure. Anna Reed, one of the doctors laid off at Franklin Square, says MedStar must rethink its decision. Dangerous. They're already dangerous. We've already heard lots of stories of bad outcomes. The reason that we were given that the unit um, was closing, that this was happening, was that it was a business decision. It was a purely business decision. Um, and to me that means that uh, they're looking at their bottom line. Um, it doesn't look good. They looked for something to cut and they decided that this was it. A sentiment echoed by families of patients, doctors and advocates gathered at the event who said MedStar is putting profits over the health of its patients. Uh, Franklin Square for years has been an integral part of our child protection team. Uh, the, the child abuse cases in this county are investigated by the police department, social services, the health department, the state's attorney's office, but the medical component was here at Franklin Square. Dr. Krugman is a national expert in the area of pediatrics, particularly in, in the area of, of, of physical child abuse. Uh, we've used him countless times in court. Um, the, the doctors and the nurses and the staff here do an excellent job and have formed a great partnership with the Baltimore County State's Attorney's Office in helping our most vulnerable victims, and that is the victims of physical and sexual child abuse. And we've got to make sure that particularly when it comes to our children, that every child, no matter what zip code, county, community they grow up in, that they have access to the basic health care that they deserve. And so I stand shoulder to shoulder with you because we have to make sure as parents and practitioners that we don't cut critical staff, particularly in areas that we know are already underserved. I stand by you shoulder to shoulder to make sure that as parents and children, we guarantee that our kids can get health care where they grow up because even moving these services 10 miles away, we know can be the difference between whether they get access to these services or not. Our children's lives matter, and this, is, this needs to be done. Um, we need to make sure it's open. As the nurse said to me the day after the unit was closed, when I asked why she was in the unit, she said, Mary, they put me over here because I was PAL certified, meaning pediatric advanced life support. She said, I've never been oriented. I'm the only nurse here. If a really sick child comes through that door, I don't know what to do for that child. And I'm not gonna have the death of a child on my conscience. We have near misses every day here. We do not have the dedicated, credentialed, uh, trained um, clinicians and staff going down from doctors, um, nurses, techs, even down to the unit secretary that knew what they needed to do to take care of these patients. Reverend Annie Chambers said the closings will cause severe hardship for those that rely on Franklin Square, as it will take hours to travel by bus to other hospitals with pediatric departments. This unit was very, very important to whole low-income working people, um, you know, for our children. And we know that our children could come here. You know, the surrounding communities of this hospital, Franklin Square must realize that all of the community, we had children all over that. And we are saying shame on them that they would close the unit and our children don't have anywhere to go except far, you know, long way. Many speakers voiced support for an alternative single-payer health care system which would ensure medical coverage for all and de-incentivize such closures. Medicine shouldn't be big business. 
I have a few questions to MedStar. Before they closed this unit, did they cut the bonuses of their administrators? No. no. Did they do away with any of their jobs? Hell no. This has to stop. This is a good example of why maybe we might need universal health care. Yeah. Everyone in this state, everyone in this country, deserves good quality health care that is affordable. Hell yeah. The research I have done indicates that over 50% of these children were Medicaid recipients. Is that why they closed this unit? That makes me mad. To close Franklin Square Pediatric Ward was a very huge mistake for all our children and our grandchildren. But I have nine grandchildren who live in this area, one of who has asthma and severe allergies. They live in this area. I, time is of the essence, and I know that. I think this was a grave mistake. We will continue following the story. For The Real News, this is Jess Lenore.